So this is this while. Here's our workers here. They work on our soil. They dig. They do the digging. That's what they do. Right here, that one there. And so this is what they've done here. They've done this part. So what's the um, the reason for this is if it's raining, the water will stay here on this like um, like a canal. And the water stay there, and then you put grass on the top of it so it will not evaporate. And the berm is wider, so we can plant more. So this is this wild. Um, we design our farm to have this wild to in order for us to be sustainable um, in the future because uh, the beauty with the swale is it's a le less maintenance when it's um, working because you didn't have them to water your plants because it already then store water here if it gets plenty of rain and and then later they would put grass on the top of the berm so it, to keep it moist and also here as well to um, to um, prevent um, evaporation of the water so we also then put grass on the top of this so they keep the uh, and there are also workers there they do the clearing the area they um, chop the grass there, there. So they clear there so that's before that was really the grass was really tall and now that starts to clear now we can see the plant so yeah because there are several workers turn up today so which is good so there will be more people working there this um the swale that my husband designed that he wanted for in this place in this farm and as you can see you can see that there is a like a big hole here and that in this one here that's what they call it a berm here this land that soil there from there the my husband decided to or it was my brother who suggested to make the berm wider so we can plant more more fruit trees and aside from that under the uh, fruit trees then we can then plant um vegetables like um lettuce or sweet potato and other stuff and the reason for this like a big hole is to harvest the rain and once it harvests the rain it keeps the water here so you you didn't have them to worry um to water your plants very often because if it's rained so hard this one the water will stay here for a while and that keeps keeps the plants watered and it and the reason for that it will be a le less maintenance so I'll show you a tour to our um, the swale that they made the swale is from that from that side there it captured the rain from that valley there a little valley there and go through this um, swale here oh the ants bite me um and there are already plants here um lemon they were like um i think they are now 18 months old when we bought this and they have already fruits we already harvested um a few days ago and that's what we've been um using and we have this dwarf coconuts and i think it's not yet ripe it's close and they're really big look at my hands and the lemon compared to the lemon that we bought in the supermarket they're very tiny and that one is more juicy and we have this 
cash cashew or kasoy and yeah this one is not deep enough but because my husband wanted, wanted it to be deeper but anyway i think we didn't have enough time for now so maybe we'll do that next trip we have lots and lots of lemon this one i think it's a calamansi calamansi tree and we have more dwarf coconuts and this one is a um cacao and oh there is a a nest oh, maybe the bird lay eggs there let's see what's in there so i think this tree needs a um pesticide so maybe i'll tell them to spray this because i think it's eaten by worm so this need so place this still needs maintenance and here more lemons more lemons and the, that's a dwarf coconut that one there is it's a bit younger this one is we planted this one like 18 months ago and cacao this one also they're the batch of that one they're same batch and um they said it has already um flowers but i didn't see any flowers yet but i think it's getting close now to bear fruit this one because it, it's a grafted they said grafted this one is a lansonis is also a grafted and we have this um, grafted avocado so hopefully next year this um, avocado will already have fruit so um, I don't know what type of avocado was this but we just when we bought this in the nursery we just um, grabbed this because we want um, to um, not so tall trees so we have decided to have this grafted um, fruit trees this one is also, um, I think it's just a calamansi. And, oh yeah, this one here. I saw fruit. Oh no, fruit, a flower. Oh no, it's, oh, it's not successful. That one, and this one is up to that side there. We have this mangosteen so the soil is up to that side so we fence this area here to avoid the neighbors some um, animals going inside they eat our some of our plants was eaten by their um, goat so we decided to fence on that side and ah oh, more lemons here look at that yeah, maybe I grab this one. This is already ripe. Ah, uh, it's not. It's not yet close. They're very wow. They're very big. I'm happy. We're happy. And that one there is already there. That's a rambutan. It's already there when we bought this. And more lemons. Oh, lemons. Yeah, more lemons. Uh, grab that one. Yeah. This one is a lansonis, I think. So, yeah, we can't wait now. They, they were going to put grass on it. And I'll show you what what they did. After they dig this one, they will put um, grass on the top um, to stop, to minimize the um, evaporation of the water. So... I'll show you later so this is what will happen once that one is done that one is bare at the moment this one is this one it was the previous work so they put grass on the top of that berm or that soil um, to keep the moisture in this one and they put also um banana here to to provide a shade if we put more seedling so that one is older and the one that they just planted this 
small mango trees so that will that's really a good thing for the small plants because the banana they grow so quickly and it also provides us shade here if we walk through to that so this is it and um, they put grass so that's what they will do later put more grass and also in here you can see that one there a little bit hole and so if it's rain so hard the water stay here for a while and because they put grass on it that is also um, prevent the or slows down the evaporation so it keeps the moisture in and same here that they also put grass so um, my husband Ross he learned this from jo Jeff um, about this permaculture so hopefully this it will work